Hello everyone and welcome to 3D Print Farm. My name is Garrett. Today we're going to talk about how to change out a Z-Rail, a Z-Mechanism, and a Z-Rod and motor on an AnyCubic Photon. Without further ado, this is what I received in the mail, which is a new Z-Rod assembly and a Z-Rod rail. It's actually it's upside down. Mm -hmm. Hole should be down here. And a new Z-Rod and motor. I also have the brass screw that attaches up in here. And that looks like this. Now I've already replaced it, and it actually goes right down in here. All you need to do is just take an Allen wrench. There's four, four bolts on this side. Loosen those up, and that little Z-nut, which fits in thusly with the long sleeve pointing down, fits in that hole. Tighten those back up. This is the actual part that goes in here on your build plate. So this is the back piece that connects onto this assembly thusly. So what that brass nut does is it g helps guide the, the, this assembly up and down the Z-Rod. So what I had to do is I had to take this thing a little bit apart. And let me show you here. I'm going to drag the photon over. I've taken uh, this partially apart, and you can find instructions on how to do this on YouTube. Uh, AnyCubic's got one. Uh, there's a video how to fix Z Wobble, and this shows you exactly how to take this thing apart. What it doesn't show is how to remove that back rail and how to remove and replace that brass nut. Well, I just showed you how to replace the brass nut, but let's, let's tackle this. Well, I've noticed that these two spots down here, which are the, uh, the, uh, the two holders, I guess you'd call them, that uh, secure the vat, there's, they're bolted underneath, and you cannot slide this thing out without removing that. So it's, it's a pain. So what I did is, let me close this, so slam my fingers. What I've done is I've slid this out, and you can actually see in here where there's four bolts on, let me move these wires out of the way, you can see there's four bolts down right there, okay? See those four bolts? That's in a two, that's a two and a half millimeter uh, wrench that you're going to need. Uh, Man, it may not be a two and a half millimeter wrench. I'll put it down in the description below. So what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to remove these four bolts. And that will remove the, it's gonna remove the rail. But now there's also a connector that is, was connected, this guy right here. And it is connected right over here. And I believe that's some type of sensor because it goes into a black piece that you can see that's right under the rail. A little black piece down there at the bottom. I have to remove that too. So I'm going to get started and remove those and then uh, we'll, uh, we'll put it back together. Okay, what I've done <clears throat> is I removed this rail and I also removed this item which I believe it's a uh, it's a sensor that uh, senses when the um, when the bed gets close to the bottom of the Z rail so this is going to have to be removed and I also unplugged it so you, you can see where it comes unplugged from it's right on the corner of the um, in fact there's a uh, uh, it's clearly marked as well so it's going to be this guy right here on the edge is that uh, it's it, I believe it's probably a Z stop 
is where this guy is plugged into. So not that big of a deal. So anyway, uh, let me get cracking on this. Looks like I'm going to need a I guess correctly, but this is going to be a looks like about a two and a half. So you're going to have to need a, or you're going to need a two and a half millimeter Allen wrench to remove these guys here. So I'm going to remove. Okay, got them tightened up. I yeah, just I didn't really finger tighten them. I tightened it a little bit past finger tighten. You don't want to over tighten this because this is plastic and I'm sure there's some components in here that you could mess up so you, one thing you don't want to over tighten this so now what I'm going to do is I am going to um, now work on removing the uh, the Z motor and the rod so since this is out of the way I'm going to set this aside and then I'm going to get back into the photon and I'm going to remove that and I'll show you just one second okay for this operation you're going to need a two and a half millimeter allen wrench and what you're going to do is uh, right around the base of the Z-Rod and motor, there are two screws. You're gonna have to remove them. So that's what we're gonna do next. And you can see I've already removed the bottom, so this dude should slide right on out. I went ahead and removed the connector and the motor and the rod should slide right on out. Here we go. Do is I have my new Z-Rod and Z-Motor. But the old Z-Rod and Z-Motor have some type of a dampening apparatus that's on here. So it's going to have to be removed. Two and a half millimeter Allen wrench. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to Remove the bolts. Boy, those are tiny. Ugh. Don't worry, I see where it went. I'd hate to lose one of these though. It's small. Probably because of the size of the um, the motor itself, and there's not a lot of there's not a lot of room. I need a giant bolt in there, so this comes off, and it looks like it's going on one way. I'm trying to make sure this, I take this off the right way. I don't know if it really matters, but uh, I'm going to try to repeat the process. I can. I've, I've been holding on to it this way, and you can kind of tell there's a little grease spot where this one went on. So I'm going to try to put it on exactly. Uh, using the new motor, put it, put it on exactly the same way, putting it over, lining it up, yep, there's the new one, excuse me, let me bend down and get the screw fairly tight, I don't want them going anywhere, so, there we go, that's on, you can kind of see the direction of the uh, connector, I hold it this way, so the looks like your your bolts are going to be going in this direction, and your connectors here. So let me hold it like that, so you can kind of see. So your connectors are here, here, and then this spot is where it will actually connect to the uh, plate on the inside. I don't know if this matters, but um, I'm just trying to uh, make it identical to what this dude was. So. Okay, I've got the Z-Rod and Z-Rod motor reinstalled. And all I did was I just pushed those two screws back in there. The best way to do this uh, is I just held on. I held on to the Z-Rod like this with one hand. And you can see, you can see the holes as you're, as you're pulling it up. I thread one in, you can see it from the top, thread one in, tighten it, look on the other side, th thread one in, tighten both sides, tighten them both equally. I didn't really crank down on them because uh, I just didn't, real, didn't feel real comfortable uh, cranking down too tight on them. So 
the Z rod and motor assembly are complete as you can see. Now all I have to do is reconnect and it is connected. So the next step is to through that hole in the back. You can see that there's a kind of a rectangular hole right behind the Z-Rod. I have to thread it through there. Okay guys, I'm back. So I believe I have everything installed correctly. So now I really need to put everything back together. You can see the new Z-Rail. Uh, Z-Rod is assembled. Everything appears to be straight. One thing I wanted to uh, send out as a warning to everyone, and I didn't do it, and I shouldn't have because it would have been tragic if something happened, is this guy right here. That LCD, you need to protect it with your life when you're disassembling this thing. Either put a, uh, a rag or something on it because just a small screw falling and hitting that glass will crack it and you're going to be in a world of disappointment if that happens. I didn't do that. I've taken this thing apart multiple times and it I have dropped screws and it was it's possible I could have done it. So please as a warning that dude there make sure it's covered with something that will protect it. All right, I'm gonna go back and you can see it's still in pieces. I'm going to put it back together and I'm going to reassemble it and do a test print and we'll see if my Z wobbles are gone for good. Have a good day.